singer, songwriter, and actor, Leon Robinson is a triple threat, known to his fans as simply Leon. Many love and remember him for... It's kind of a winter sport, you know. You mean winter as in ice, baby? His work here in the film, Cool Runnings, the story of a Jamaican bobsledding team. Doing memorable work is all I have asked for. One of his most memorable is The Five Heartbeats, Robert Townsend's 1991 drama about the rise and fall of a fictional 1960s R&B group. Leon plays JT, a bit of a ladies' man on the concert touring circuit. What was happening in Leon's life during the making uh, of The Five Heartbeats? Wow, what was happening in my life during the film? You know, I was just really, you know, making my way in Hollywood, uh, having fun and, you know, getting a lot of work. And, you know, it was, it was a unique experience for me in the sense that, you know, working with um, Robert Townsend and, and working with the rest of the cast and stuff, you know, I was introduced to, um, you know, I was really getting involved with Black Hollywood. I just felt like we were creating something that, you know, that was going to be memorable. Mm -hmm. So even during the making, you knew that this, this was a special film? We felt like it was special. We always felt like it was special. And when it tested so high at 20th Century Fox, I believe it tested higher than Home Alone, um, you know, they started flying us around and, you know, private jets and we were doing all this press. And so I think everyone expected it to do, you know, really well. <laughs> The musical film is very loosely based on the lives of artists in legendary groups like The Dells, The Temptations, and The Four Tops. What was the response, especially f for those in the, in the world of recording, um, from them who saw it? I mean, because you guys were essentially pulling many stories together to yes. tell what life was like for black artists during that time period. What was the response from some of those artists? Do you recall anything? The response from musicians, especially band members, from back in the day up into present day is just phenomenal. I mean, they come and, and grab me as though it's like, yo, you telling my story. You told our story. It's like, it's the story of so many bands in so many different ways. And so, yeah, you know, all the groups, you know, from back in the day, you know, I mean, every once in a while you might get a funny look because they think you actually stole that story from them. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, um, yeah, musicians just loved the, loved the movie, loved the five R beats. They loved the brotherhood. They loved the group coming together. And they, re they really loved the story between my character and, you know, Robert Townsend's character, Duck. You know, JT and Duck and, you know, and, and how, you know, love, you know, that real kind of love, love we have for our family members is something that's very real. And especially amongst us men, us African-American men, we don't see enough of that kind of bonding on screen. We don't see enough of that kind of, you know, that love, the kind of love that we all have in our lives, the kind of love that we die for. You know, we don't see enough of that. Looking at you, I keep thinking, Shy Brother, let's do Shy Brother. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you know any times a guy will come up to me and say, let's do Shy Brother? <laughs> I'm like, with who? I don't see any women around. <laughs> the movie ends on a real hopeful note. I'm thinking of, of the scene in the church. Mm -hmm. um, the redemptive value and the fact that despite all the ups and downs, you know, we could still, we could survive. We could, we could sort of begin a, a new chapter. Of course. Do, that element, do you think that was purposeful and, and necessary to end the film like that? Um, well, it's not the ending, right. but it's one of the closing scenes. And yes, it was very important, you know. Each character in this story serves a purpose. He has a journey. And in good movies, we follow those different characters when it's an ensemble. And, you know, the story of Eddie Kang Jr. and his fall from grace and his fall from even, you know, himself, the life that he probably would wish he could live, is um, to see that there's a chance for him to go on, you know, to get past that, you know, and, and, and have a life beyond that. I mean, I, I think that's something we all strive for, whether it's in our lives and our faith 
or anything. We hope that we can go on from whatever we've been downed by. Where does faith stand for Leon? What is it about faith that's important to you? Well, you know, I'm someone who was raised from a little boy, you know, um, going to parochial schools and, you know, being a Christian. And so, you know, what it means for me, it's a foundation. It's a foundation that gives me, you know, hope every day when I wake up, you know, about so many things. Not so much about what's even taught to me in the church, but of some things that I've learned in my life. But it's given me a foundation to always be bright about it, to always think that, you know, that's there for me. You know, because from a very early age, I've always believed that. So, you know, that's where I'm at.